Hello everybody, my name is Hasty Swambert, and I'm back to give you all some random battle spot, because why the heck not? Oh, hold on, let me edit something. That will do. Alright, my bad. But my name is Hasty Swampert, and I'm back to give you all a little bit of battle spot, because why the heck not? I have not recorded in a while, and I am very, very sorry. I want to continue recording, but it's been hard these past few days. So, to make it up to you, I'm doing a video, and I know Sun and Moon's gonna be out in six days, but I'm giving you all some Oras Battle Spot, because why the heck not? And I also want to try out Keldeo, because... Oh, no, I don't want raiding. Service has been discontinued. Here we go, random. Much better. There we go. So, I have Keldeo, I have Ferrothorn, I have Darmanitan, I have Kecleon, Mega Pinsir, and Electabuzz. So, let's have some fun. Everyone has an item. So that's good. <sighs> Hold on, I gotta just push this down a little. That should do. Alright, now I'm ready to hit the challenge button and I'm just gonna put in a random track music gate even though I have the sound off so it's whatever okay some name I can't pronounce from Tokyo let's see what this person has this person has hmm okay Garchomp, Breloom, Volcarona, Weavile, Lapras and Lopunny I'm definitely bringing Pinsir. I'm definitely bringing Pinsir. There's no doubt in my mind. So, Pinsir. I I have to bring Ferrothorn for the Weavile. And maybe Scarf Darm for the Low Bunny. Wait, no, I could actually bring Keldeo. Keldeo actually is a lot of a good amount to this team. So, Keldeo then, instead of Ferrothorn? Yeah, because of the Volcarona. I'll go with Darm and Keldeo. Let's go. <sighs> Breloom can be scary, because I don't have anything which I brought with me which um, deals with Spore. I could have brought Ferrothorn and Electabuzz, but I don't think they were the best. So, let's see. Pinsir... And Breloom? Low Punny, okay. Okay, so right off the bat, I want a Mega. And I actually want to just click Return. Yeah, I'll just go right for the Return. He wants to switch out. Oh, he doesn't switch out. My guess is Low Punny's going for a Fake Out. I really thought this screen was perfect. Sorry that the top of the screen's cut out and so is the bottom screen, which probably shouldn't have adjusted that beforehand. It's alright. Oh no, it has fire punch. Can I eat that? I can. Don't get burned. Thank you, Pinsir. Bye bye, low bunny. Get out. <sighs> Feels good. And now I'm at 105 speed instead of just 85. So let's see person probably b brought Garchomp. Yep, Garchomp. I'm just gonna click return again. Find out if it's a scarfed one. Nope, it's not scarfed. See how much this does. Whoa. Oh, it's a defensive one, I think? It's probably a defensive one. But Pinsir goes down. It's alright. Pinsir did a good job. So, I now get to bring in Keldeo, for the first time ever. Look at that majestic pony. I'm just gonna click Scald, because it should KO. If he wants to switch out, he can go right ahead. But he doesn't. Now, what do I have? I have Darm, and I have... Okay, so, I probably win regardless. Let's see what he has. I'm guessing Breloom? Yep, Breloom. Now, 
here. What does more? Secret Sword or Icy Wind? They do around the same. So I'm just gonna click. I'm gonna click Secret Sword. It should do plenty of damage. So let's see how much. That doesn't do bad mouth. Does alright damage. Berlin goes for the spore. Now here, I can just go out into Darm. If he goes for another Spore, I'm actually going to give him props for that. That would be pretty impressive if he actually does that. But if he Sword Dances and Mach Punches, I can hopefully survive it. Goes for the Seed Bomb, okay. That's alright. Because now I just get to Flare Blitz and take out Brolum. And we get the win. But like, if he really spored Darm on that switch, he could have won if he had like Sword Dance and Mach Punch. Yeah, that could have been a win. But he didn't. So, that's alright. Managed to win 2 well. Do another battle. Uh, I don't need to save that. Let's keep going. Putting in random music again. Music 15. But that was a pretty good battle. It wasn't too special, but... Let's see who we fight. Kiwisaur. Need hatch power. Okay. Kiwi Sore, I never heard about that one. Oh, and if you guys are wondering, I've been kind of living under a rock lately because I've been avoiding all those Sun and Moon leaks. Just wanted to point that out. But looking at this team, Keldeo. No doubt in my mind we need Keldeo. Uh, not Electabuzz. Electabuzz can't do a lot. Kecleon can't do much either. This team does get hurt with from Pinsir, so bring him and maybe Darm again. But I won't have too much to deal with the Rotom actually, which is a problem. <sighs> yeah, I really don't have too many answers to Rotom. I could bring Electabuzz and just do some damage. I'll do that. I'll bring Electabuzz, but the Rotom Wash could be a problem. And I could bring Ferrothorn, but I don't have Lumberry. I have Leftovers instead. So, yeah, I just wanted to point that out. If I had Lumberry, I would definitely bring it, because I have Power Whip, and I'm full, fully invested in attack, so Power Whip would do a ton. But if it had, like, I'm under the assumption that the Rotom has Will-O-Wisp, so... Yeah, I should really had Lumberry, but that's okay. Let's see what he brings. If he makes up his mind already. He's running out of time, so he has to be quick. There we go. Let's see what Kiwi Sword brings. I'm guessing this person's internet is a bit slow. Kiwi Sword brings Gudra. Okay. That's actually not bad matchup for me. Unless Gudra is this Gudra packs Power Whip. But I don't have a real switch into it, so I'm just gonna click Secret Sword and see what he does. He's probably gonna stay in and take the hit and just go for like Draco, but I think Keldeo can survive a Draco from Gudra, unless it's like Specs. Six hundred fourteen eggs. Okay. Let's see how much this does. It's gonna do some. Mm, not bad. Draco. Draco. Okay. Saw it coming. 
Now, hopefully, Keldeo can take the hit with, like, a little bit left. Okay. I can take that. Now I'm just going to Secret Sword again. Take out Gudra. I'm pretty glad that I got the, um... Whatever it is. The perfect bulk investment besides the hit points. The hit points are a bit flawed. Switches out. Let's see what he switches into. Rotom. I don't think Rotom can take it that well. If it can, then I'm wrong. Yeah, actually, Rotom did take it well. Who did I bring again? I brought Darm and I brought... Oh, no, I brought a like the and Pinsir. So I'm just going to Secret Sword again for that power. And I'm not going to go down to Life Orb, so he has to, like, attack. Or it can go down to a crit. Wow. Thank you so much, Keldeo. And you live with six hit points. Not bad, Keldeo. You are awesome. I love you. I'm glad I self reset it for one. It's those magical critical hits. People say Life Orb Keldeo is not good. I don't care if it's not a thing for Smogon. I use it and it works. That's my philosophy. And this person is bringing in Sableye. Okay. I'm just going to Hydro Pump. Because he's going to Mega. And, yep, it's a Mega. So if Hydro Pump can land and do that damage to... um. Sableye? That would be amazing. Why did he recover? That's weird. How much is this going to do? Is it going to KO? No, it doesn't. But... He loses. Because... Right here, I go into Pinsir, and I just return the rest of his team. And that's another win. That's return, right? Yep. And because Mega Sableye lost Prankster, he can't will o -wisp me, so really he just loses. So, yeah. Pinsir and Keldeo really duking it out. Not bad. Crit didn't matter. Totally didn't matter. Now all he has to do is bring in Gudra, let that go down, and we have another win in our hands. I'm pretty happy. Oh, forfeited. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna do another battle. I think we're gonna do two more battles and then end the video off. So I don't want this to be a very long match, not match, but a very long video, but I wanted to have a video out for you guys to watch and enjoy. And just to tell you all that I am not dead, I am well and alive, it's just college is being a little cruel to me at the moment. Like, last night I had to do a five page paper, and I only started Thursday, and oh god, Darkrai. Okay. Uh, what do I have? I could bring Keldeo again. Because Keldeo hits everything neutrally except Venusaur, which gets hit by Pinsir. last month. Maybe Electabuzz could be the last Pokemon for Charizard. That could be Charizard Y. Yeah, we'll do... We'll do these three Mons. But back to what I was saying, I had a five-page paper due in honors, and I just started it Thursday night, and I actually managed to finish it last night at like 10.20 at night, and I'm very thrilled that I got that done. And I hope I, I hope I do good. Okay, is Blaziken? 
It's... Is that a Moon Ball? Moon Ball Blaziken, that's totally legit. I'm just gonna click Scald. If he switches out, something has to take the hit. And if he... He's a Mega Blaziken, okay. But 5 page paper, managed to get that done last night, I am proud of myself, and bye bye Blaziken, you're gonna go down with the Scald, boom. Look at how fast that hit point bar went down. Crit didn't matter, get out of here. <laughs> Keldeo's just taking lives. Darkrai, okay. Secret Sword, if I outspeed that's even better. And I do. Oh, that's excellent. Am I gonna 3-0 this guy with Keldeo? I think I will. What else did I have to do? Oh yeah, for honors, I had to do a presentation. I didn't present it yet, but I'm presenting it on Tuesday. And today is Saturday. And we were all gonna do it on Thursday, but we ran out of time, and I was the last... My partner and I were the last people to be presenting it, so I managed to get away with that very, very easily. Uh, what do I want to do here? I might actually go for a sleep move, so I'm just gonna scald. It's not Mega? Okay. That's... Oh yeah, I forgot. Mega Blaziken. If he takes me out here, that's okay. He goes for the Sludge Bomb. I'm gonna Icy Wind then, because that's super effective. But yeah, most of all of that, sh that stuff which I've been stressing out is out of the way, and I'm very happy about it. You're gonna go down here? Yep, you're gonna go down. Okay. And then I can bring in Pinsir in return. And that's a third win. Alright. So what else? It's mainly just honors which has been killing me. It's just been so stressful. It's put a strain on my college life out of all the subjects that I'm doing. I'm doing math, I'm doing writing. Writing was really stressful at first, but now I can do it with very little problem. I can do it with ease. And I also have American History, which I really enjoy doing. The professor's awesome. Because he has this these little trivia this little bits of trivia and it's just funny because he has very he shows enthusiasm for it and it's just very entertaining with those little trivial moments of history which you learn about that's another 2-0 for us I'm very very glad I think we're gonna do one more because it's 18 minutes and I really feel bad for not uploading in a very long while and you guys deserve more of my wonderful voice. Not the sound. Not, I can't think of the word, not the sound. I wouldn't say arrogant, but... Cocky. Not to sound cocky, but... Roman! From Utah. Nice to meet you. Look at this team. This team gets bodied by Keldeo. What do I have for Sylveon? Pinsir for Sylveon. This is not even funny. This team really does get bodied by... Kangaskhan and Hyde. No, it's such a huge fighting weakness, my god. Uh... What else do I bring? Electabuzz? I have Focus Blast, so I could bring Electabuzz. Molga gets um, Motor Drive, so maybe Darm? Darm could work? Darm. Let's go. I know it's, the person's not that experienced because I think like only 4 out of 6 of his Pokemon have items, but who am I to criticize? Battery's low. 20% left. Alright, hopefully I can finish this match before the battery dies. That'd be amazing. 
Alright, Hydreigon. Secret Sword. Where's Secret Sword? Top right. Alright. Imagine if this Hydreigon's, like, focus sashed. Nope. It just goes down. Man. It took me a while to soft reset for this Keldeo, and it doesn't even have perfect special attack and hit points. The reason I stopped was because it had, like, Hidden Power Electric, which actually hits Slowbro, it hits Gyarados, which wall Keldeo's two main stabs. Uh, I have no switchins. That's that stings. Oops, did not mean to hit that. Do I just want to bring in Darm and f just flare blitz? I can do that. I need to save Keldeo though, in case this person has Mega Kangaskhan, because that's a real threat. So if it goes for like a Hyper Voice. No, it goes for side shock. Okay. Let's just flare blitz right here. He has no resistances after taking out whatchamacallit? After taking out Hydreigon, he has no switch ins. So wow, it just died. Take that, cat dog. And, yep, he does have Kangaskhan. Alright, we'll have to let Darm go down here. Yep, Roman has a Mega Kangaskhan. Let's see how much is going down. 18%, I can make it. Oh, I have 18 minutes approximately. That's alright. Let's see how much Darm can do. Whoa. That was very close to killing. I've probably lived by like four hit points. Um, I'm just gonna bring in Pincer and Quick Attack. Just for the lols. So we're just gonna Mega Evolve. And we're gonna Quick Attack. Man, I, I really love breed. I really am proud of breeding these Pokemon. Just gives me more Pokemon to play with. Just glad that I got a, a complete monster like Mega Pinsir. Just push, putting out all that damage. Really glad the WPA motivated me to breed these Pokemon. That's one of the main things I got out of it, so. I'm very glad that I at least tried out that. that league for a few weeks so that's it for this video if you enjoyed this video i would like it if you were to leave a like comment subscribe that is if you enjoyed it and i will see you all next time